Greetings everybody, Del Puckett here with a guitar that's tuned G, D, G. In this video here, I want to teach you, or at least expl explain to you why I often prefer to go E, B, E instead of G, D, G. So in this video, I'm going to give you my reasons why I tune down. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tune down. So this is G. It's also a G here if I put my finger, my finger at the fifth fret middle string, that's also a G which is the same as the high string. So if I take this note here, and move it down to the second fret, that is gonna be E. So now I'm just gonna tune my high string to match that note. So I'm tuning down three half steps. Okay, so now I've got E. So now I just match the top string to the bottom string. So now the middle string, it's just going to be, again, going back to this middle string here. So I'm just going to put my finger there. And then fine tune it. I can tell already, dude. Listen to that sound, man. It's just like, boom. Get that overtone. Now it's all bendy. So I'm going to fine tune it um, to the key of E and I'll play you some songs. All right, before I play anything, I want to just show you this beautiful Padron box here. It's been stained, uh, sanded and stained, made to look old. Even the pickup is made to look old. There's also a piezo underneath here, and this is one of those blenders. I have um, antique screws. Even the back has been antiqued. And then of course the solder burns on the top there for the position markers. I love the way the stain and the neck, you can actually see those um, original cut marks. But um, because it's tuned down, you get... You get that real bassy, boinking sound. Especially if you palm mute it. Um, because there's less tension in the string, it's easier to bend. I think. Even with one fingers. Um, so you get the sound, the easy to bend. Um, of course, you get you do get a lower action. And the action is the string height here above the frets. And that's because you've tuned it down. The neck is kind of relaxed a little bit. If you tune it up tighter, then that neck comes up and you get higher action, which is good if you want to play a slide. So if you hit those harmonics, you can really wiggle it around when it's tuned down. But if it's tuned up, it's more of a fight, right? So, so you get the sound, the feel, the... Um, um, the reaction of it, but most importantly for me, it's like I like to think fast when I'm playing, and so because I come from a guitar player's background, I just look and I look down here at the top zero fret here, the very first note on the top string, and I tell myself it's E, 
right? So I just go E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E again. So it makes it easy for chords, right? Here's A, B, E, G. Um, so the lower sound, the easier to bend, the lower action, and of course just the mental um, fastness just by looking down and seeing that you know, there's the G chord. Um, and then also the, the top two strings, um, B and E, um, the top two strings on the guitar are also B and E, so all your licks transfer over here. Plus, for some reason, E, I think just the lower tuning better suits the instrument. That's just my opinion. Uh, it kind of gives it a, a kind of a, a lower quality, lower fi feel. Kind of looser, more like the whole thing is going to just fall apart. You know what I'm saying? So, oh yeah, I was going to play you a song. You guys remember the breeze? <laughs> Well, they call me the breeze. I keep blowing down that road. They call me the breeze. I keep blowing down that road. I ain't got me nobody. Ain't no change in the weather Ain't no change in me There ain't no change in the weather There ain't no change in me I ain't hiding from nobody The green light, baby. I gotta keep moving on. I got the green light, baby. I got to keep on moving on. I might go down to Albuquerque, may stay up in Portland. I don't know. If you like the way I sing, be sure to give me the thumbs down. Be sure to click on these links, and I will see you in the next video.